Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build five Minecraft traps. Okay, so here is the first trap. It's over here on the side of this mountain. Right here. And it just kind of looks like a little, like, kind of a base. Um, it's not like, like, it's kind of just like a little door in the side of um, a mountain. But I'm not going to open it, because that will set off the trap. And I don't want to blow up, so let me dem demonstrate it in just a sec. In um, one second. Okay, so just walking around. Oh, what's this? I think it's like a base. Oh, sorry, wait. Whoa, what was that sound? Wait. Oh no. Okay, so here's the next one. Um, it's uh not it's, it uses a different way of like trapping someone than the last one. This one uses lava, the other one uses TNT. Now, I won't go inside, because that will probably give it away, and I also don't really want to activate it. This one will definitely work, the last one didn't work. Um, well, it might work if you put more TNT, um, but it didn't really work for me. So this is just a little weird build, you can kind of see inside. So now let me show you how this one works. Okay, so I just... Oh, whoa, whoa. What is this? Is there a door? Oh, there's definitely a door. I'm kind of worried what's inside. Oh, yeah, like I'm actually going to go inside. I'm actually going to push that button. So to dispenser. So let me look around. What's that? Oh my gosh, it's a prayer. <laughs> Okay, so here's the next one. Uh, it kind of just looks like a cave, um, but it's, well it is a cave, but there's a secret trap inside. And if you come all the way over here, you can see this coal. And this is the trap. I'm not going to break any, because I'll set off the trap. Um, but once you break one of these pieces of coal, uh, yeah, you're, you're probably going to die. Um, yeah. Uh, but I won't tell you anymore, but now let me show you how this one works. Okay, so let's go mining. I hope there's anything good left, because there's some, there's tortoise, so someone's already been here, so. Just look around. Some more. Oh my gosh, whoa, 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 whoa. no, no! No, no, no! no, no. First of all, that blows up a big area, and most likely they're not going to die from the exact from the explosion, um, but it does send you really high up into the air, so this is probably a good one maybe um, for like if you have a lot of materials, but like the person that you're trying to prank doesn't, so yeah, uh, because minecarts with TNT in them are really expensive, and they're not something that you wouldn't waste, so You'd have to have a lot of iron and gunpowder and sand. But this one really does work in, like, look at that explosion. I mean, like, that just... Let me switch my graphics back. Fancy. So you can see how. You can see right through it. It still kind of works, but not as well. Okay, and this tree's finished. Let's move on to this next tree. While they're here. Need some birch wood. Okay, so here's the next one. Again, it's just, it looks just like a cave. You can go in. There's some lighter here. This is lava, because so we have some lava and diamonds. And the diamonds are kind of just supposed to be bait, so like you would want to go over there because it is just a dead end. I can just fly over here. So there's nothing over here besides some diamonds I placed. Of course, this is way too um, high for diamonds. We're inside of the side of a, we're in the side of a mountain, so. The only thing that would spawn here would be coal, but I mean, it's just 
you, just, you, know, you would use this more probably in a deep area. I just can't find a deep cave. And this lava right here. Now, this is a cool trap idea I've I like came up with. Is to when so when you block lava. Um, so there's a observer behind that, and so whenever you place a block there, it would activate some redstone, probably blow everything up. So right here, like it would be pretty hard to jump across that. Like you see, like you'd get burned. So. So you basically have to um, plug um, off the lava to get the diamonds. So let's see how this idea works. Okay, so well, I saw a cave up here. Um, I, so I don't think there's probably much good, like good stuff inside this cave. But you know, you never know. I might find something interesting. There's some light. Slide our way up a little bit. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I just found some diamonds. Oh, I can't get across there. Um, okay, let's just block this off. Okay, wait, what was the sound? Shoot, let me just run. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, diamonds! Oh, oh no. Okay, so now let me show you the first one. Let me show you how to build the first one that I showed you. And I can't go into there because I don't want to set this off. Should have just de-arm the trap. Uh, let me just kind of remove a couple of these things. All the stuff inside here is just extra. You can make this wherever you want and however you want. Um, this is just you could like you can make this look better. You could I, like I was just trying to make it look simple. And so this one's really simple. All you need is a observer. Um, and you want to make sure they have a pretty good hallway going into your build. To cover it up and let me just break a piece of redstone um, I'm really afraid of um, activating it so whenever you close the door it will send a pulse through there into the uh, like um, from the observ uh, observer and then uh, send that to the TNT but when you open when you close it it um, covers it up now, of course, if you've covered it behind you, but then the TNTs are already going to explode. Um, this is super simple. I just put a repeater right here. Well, I've actually put two repeaters, so I have a um, longer like time period. Of course, you could change this. I was, of course, just making this. There's these aren't actual traps. I mean, they're just. I mean, like they they work, but I'm not using them as actual traps. So I wanted a little bit longer of a delay, but of course, like. The best thing to do is just put one repeater to make sure, like, because they're going to hear the um, TNT go off and then they're going to run. Um, so, like, just making sure, like, they have no, like, suspicion. Maybe, like, if they open one of the chests, then they will know oh, it's empty. They'll know, like, this is a trap. Um, so you can change. You can have as many as you want. And there's just a um, couple pieces of redstone. Let me just grab that. That goes to an activator rail with a bunch of TNT minecarts, and let me just, yeah, I can pick block that. To put a bunch, like if you want to put a lot of TNT minecarts, just stand up like a couple blocks underneath, and then make sure your crosshair crosshair is on the rail rail, and just put so you can keep on placing. So I can put a lot and. Now we can see how this will work. So I just close the door. You hear it? It's pretty loud. Let me back up. So anyone in there will probably be destroyed. Okay, so here's the next trap. This is the tree trap. And I'm not going to set it off. And so you can see through there, there is some TNT um, in a minecart. And again, I put a lot in there. These, um, you don't have to use an activator rail. If they're ever pushed into a block, they automatically blow up. And I think this is a really great way to trap someone with a tree. It doesn't always work because, I mean, when I had to, when I was doing the demonstration, I actually had to run into this block to push it in there. So if you're, if you were like, if you were careful, like if this thing just falls down, if it falls on your head, it won't blow up. So 
I mean, it's not like the most consistent, but it's kind of simple to set up, and it really does work, especially if like you put it inside of like a like a, a tree in like a certain area. Um, like if you put in that tree, that tree needs to be taller. But like if you did, it's more e it's probably more likely for someone to go get this tree than like to put it inside of like this tree right here. Like no one's really gonna go for that tree. Um, but there is one quick um, tip thing for this is so right now my graphics and my settings are on fancy so my leaves are transparent but if you really want this to work you sh the person that you're trying to um, trap should have their graphics on fast so if you know what types of setting that they're using um, then, then if they're using fast graphics then the it the node probably basically work perfectly because if you can see all the part that should be clear is now black and so you basically can't see that um minecart like and also you can't see anything through the leaf like there could be a diamond blocked behind this leaf and I would never know um so like so let me show you that one again so you just break the tree uh, uh, that would fall down see it fall on your head I want it to blow. Okay, so here's the next trap. This is the tree trap. And I'm not going to set it off. And so you can see through there, there is some TNT um, in a minecart. And again, I put a lot in there. These, um, you don't have to use an activator rail. If they're ever pushed into a block, they automatically blow up. And I think this is a really great way to trap someone with a tree. It doesn't always work because I mean when I had to when I was doing the demonstration, I actually had to run into this block to push it in there. So if you're if you were like if you were careful, like if this thing just falls down, if it falls on your head it won't blow up, so I mean, it's not like the most consistent, but it's kind of simple to set up, and it really does work. Especially if like you put it inside of like a like a, a tree in like a certain area. Um, like if you put in that tree, that tree needs to be taller. But like if you did, it's more e it's probably more likely for someone to go get this tree than like to put it inside of like this tree right here. Like no one's really gonna go for that tree. Um, but there is one quick um, tip thing for this is so right now my graphics and my settings are on fancy so my leaves are transparent but if you really want this to work you sh the person that you're trying to um, trap should have their graphics on fast so if you know what type of setting that they're using um, then, then if they're using fast graphics then the it, the node probably basically work perfectly because if you can see all the part that should be clear is now black and so you basically can't see that um minecart like and also you can't see anything through the leaf like there could be a diamond blocked behind this leaf and I would never know um so like so let me show you that one again so you just break the tree uh, uh, that would fall down see it fall on your head I wanted to blow up. I would just go. And it could, uh, first of all, that blows up a big area, and most likely they're not gonna die from the exact from the explosion. Um, but it does send you really high up into the air. So this is probably a good one, maybe, um, for like if you have a lot of materials, but like the person that you're trying to prank doesn't. So, yeah. Uh, because minecarts with TNT in them are really expensive and they're not something that you wouldn't waste so you'd have to have a lot of iron and gunpowder and sand but this one really does work in like look at that explosion I mean like that just let me switch my graphics back fancy so you can see how you can see right through it it still kind of works but not as well Here's the next one. Okay, here's the. 
Okay, here's the next one. Um, it's this. It's the um kind of I don't know build home castle. I don't I actually don't know house one. This is just a quick build. I kind of like just built real like just kind of threw it together. Um, doesn't really look the best. This is the one where you fall into lava. And this, the idea of this one is supposed to be like, so like this is just some random structure that you put in your world, and like, so like the person's like, ooh, I wonder who built this one. And like they go in, and there's supposed to be a button on the floor, and it's really hard to see the tripwire unless you actually put your um, crosshair on it. And sh it shows the um, black border right there. Um, because you, it's hard to see the string on the stone, and you can't see these. And most likely they're not going to be like super careful because if they see if they, oh, let me put, if they come in and they see a bunch of dispensers and a button they're probably expecting that the button has something to do with the dispensers but there's nothing underneath this button there's nothing connected to these dispensers so you just like so they would like just walk in be like what like there's a button right here I'm not gonna push it uh, there's a bunch of dispensers and they walk in and they walk off and then they fall into lava this one is probably a little more complicated, like the next one I'm about to show you. Um, but the tree one is probably the simplest, the one I'll get to in a little bit. So yeah, this is also kind of a fun one, just, just you one. You also can have anything underneath there, you can have a big drop. Lava is the most simple. If you want to like, keep their items, then you would probably want to do like a big drop. The reason why this hump is right here is because I can cover up the redstone. Um, so you probably want to put this one against like some like mount like hills like over there. Um, of course, this is probably not the best way to do this. It's not crazy compact, but it's kind of compact. This one's a little hard to show you. I'm gonna have to like destroy part of it. There, okay. And you, of course, you can make a better build than this. This is supposed to be the smallest and something kind of random. So let me just try not to destroy everything. Okay. So we have one sticky piston connected to six slime blocks and then six um, pieces of six blocks of stone brick or stone brick blocks. I don't know why I said it's so weird. Um, so the tripwire is connected to right there. That powers this. It goes over here. Hits the repeater that then goes to the signal flip or and goes to another repeater and then pulls then um uh turns off the power for this sticky piston which pulls this back and so yeah it works kind of perfectly just walk through and then you fall down now of course you can try to make this bigger to where the entire thing opens up this is supposed to be kind of basic especially since there's nothing really inside and it's kind of small most likely they're just going to like walk in stand probably right here and just fall into the lava so like if you wanted this to work 100 percent you probably want to put something special in there and make it where everything opens up not just that one little sliver in the middle um so yeah it's pretty simple it has a, it has a little bit of redstone none of these traps are crazy complicated this is the only second one I showed you, so you don't know about the other ones. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this castle, house, weird structure one, I guess. I don't know exactly what to call it. On to the next one. Okay, so here is the next trap. This is a, probably the most complicated trap. Either this one or the last one. And so... The, and the entire idea is to like bribe them with ore. Now, of course, you'd probably want to use something maybe more than coal, but like this is um, in a mountain where coal will probably be the only thing that will be spawning. So, like if you're deeper down, then you can use something like diamond or gold. Um, and I won't actually break it, or I'll just try to be really careful. I can actually go through the back way. I just put some coal coal ore here. And it uses the same idea of using a, a observer. The only problem with observers is once you break the blocks, you can kind of see it. And I realized, you know, after the TNT de delay and all the repeaters and stuff, you'd probably very easily be able to just run out and be safe. 
So instead of making a really big long trail of like TNT and stuff, I decided to block the person in. And that's this weird groove across across here. Actually, this this trap right here isn't armed. I, there's no TNT. Now you can use TNT however you want. Like you can put some in the, the floor. It's actually kind of cool. Mine is underneath a lava lake, so you can kind of just like if you stand right here and TNT goes off, you'll fall into the lava. And but you can you can use a like dispenser. You can use TNT minecarts. You can do use blocks of TNT. Whatever you want. You can use some type of mob, like a creeper or like ghast, or just another type of mob to attack, like put them like loose, or if you have a spawner, that'd be really ha handy. Um, so you just have a um, observer that has a redstone, this is the redstone trail, a couple repeaters. Then I just have a little like signal flip right here that leads up to a bunch of pistons. These pistons drop gravel, as you saw in the demonstration. And what this re um, piston is right here is there's probably a more elegant way of doing this, but this is just the quickest thing that popped to my mind. Is okay. So the problem was the problem I was having when I was testing is the um, the like observer only like puts out like a small little burst, and I need more of a long like like a long pulse of you know. Um, redstone like redstone signal um so all the gravel could drop because the problem was is just one little bit of gra gravel will drop and i don't want that i want all of it so i kind of need it to last um so the idea i came up with was more of like a self-destruct button right here so since these are all on they're pushing out so actually so they're going to pull back in when there's no um signal and that's what i want um so the um, red no red redstone go comes up here. These pull these um like um like have like pull out pull in I guess, and then that powers yeah powers this that leads to this piston and this piston will actually um hit the like knock this piece of redstone out which um basically makes makes it with where um, there's no more redstone signal, so, like, if I break this right here, all that stuff will open, and then this thing, um, breaks that piece of redstone, and then all this, um, turns off, which is what I want. Uh, let's just go through here, and, well, there's no gravel in it right now, I probably should have showed, showed, showed you what it looks like when there is gravel. Let me go do that right now. Okay, so, I just filled everything up with gravel and reset the um, oh, pistons uh, if you want to know how to reset the pistons it's kind of it's, it's kind of tricky but it's really simple all you need to do is place a redstone torch down here power everything and then place a piece of redstone back down here make sure you do that in that order and it should reset let me uh, I should do it from here so I can just place well I can just break that and that happens and basically now you're trapped and that happens pretty fast so once you break it you see the observer then you have to try to run you're not gonna be able to um, make it and then TNT and you could try to break through but it's gravel so like I mean, I'm in creative but even if you had like the best shovel you'd go and have to do that and then you barely make it so especially if you put more TNT I only put a little bit but if you put a lot of TNT then there's probably no chance of anyone making it out of that and that's basically it for this um, trap. I won't be giving you a full like tutorial on how to build everything because most of these are adapted to this like situation that they're in. So like, so like this doesn't have to be three long right here. This doesn't have to like go in this pattern. That's just how I made it because of the shape of the cave and just how I did it. Like there's these have a lot of freedom. And since you know the basic idea, then, I mean, that's all I'm going to show you, like, how it's, like, triggered and all, like, the ways that, um, all, like, this other parts of the trap. Now let me show you the next one. Okay. So here's the next one. Here's the second cave one. And it's the last one on our list. 
and this one is the one where like you trick someone and with the diamonds um again you want this underground not inside of the um, side of a mountain then they would be kind of suspicious and like the perfect thing to do would be fi to find um, a natural lava flow this one's man-made um, or player made yeah player made that's right um and I just put some diamonds over here I just, I just placed them in creative mode so like the best thing to do is play probably place this yourself to place them in the right spot and then make a custom lava flow and the idea of this one is so you're just kind of caving you look over here and you see the diamonds and since you see the diamonds and stuff you just want to get there as fast as possible and you also don't want to get burned so it kind of like tricks the player and just like trying to like block it off as fast as possible and you don't want to um, block this off because there's a observer behind there and this is an idea that I've always wanted to do and I just I really like the idea because it's so natural you can barely see it unless you like really look and then it's not even that obvious and it's so simple because you always just block these off especially if they're in the way like if you just made a random one where you can get around most of the time I don't really block those off but this is like it's just perfect like you just go block it off and then you know like the, the TNT will go off and most of these you don't have to use TNT or any of them the only one that is like that would probably be the castle one or the weird structure one I showed you um, that one is probably um, the only one that you'd have to use pistons and like you'd have to really follow that the rest of these are kind of just I like all you really need to do is use the observer and then you have a redstone signal so like, most of these are not ones that, like you have to you have to use TNT in a minecart or something. You could make that drop into lava, which can be funny. You're trying to block off lava, but then you drop into lava. You could use different types. Of, you could use TNT blocks. You could maybe spawn some mobs. You could make it where you know you, you like suffocate with sand or gravel. This is kind of basic. I made it kind of long, so most likely at like you'd probably want to like block it off like that so you'd be over there by the diamonds and then it'd explode so now let me show you how this one works let's block that off I think I've showed you everything because like there's no going back okay so you just block it off maybe like <laughs> I mean like you'd actually run it's kind of weird how they always leave a block right there and you can kind of see how you'd oh, I think it went dark. Um, let me grab some torches. Okay, so here's some torches. Um, I didn't really think about that. And of course, you'd probably want to increase that either to make it more surround. I think would probably be the best. More TNT in a minecart would not help that. I think. I think just putting more TNT around the place because you can kind of see how if I stood right here, I'd probably be safe, and you could still get to the diamonds. So it's not really that big of a deal. Or like it's not like even if that explodes, you don't take any damage. It doesn't really destroy much, and you're probably gonna be fine. So this is, that's probably not the best way to do it. You'd probably want to make it probably closer to the player, and maybe make like three, one by the diamonds. Well, maybe not one by the diamonds. Um, probably like one behind the player to make sure if they run away. One over here, like so you'd want to like one right there, one right here, and one right there to make it where they probably won't like survive. Or maybe one underneath their feet. Yeah, like one right there, one all over there, all the way over there, and so this one explodes, that one explodes, and that one explodes. So even if this one doesn't get them, which most likely not, they'll they'll probably get hit by this one, and if they try to run away, they'll be get they'll hit they'll be hit by this one. Um, or you could do another idea that I used inside of the first cave one, and that is putting pieces of random TNT around the place, either to be powered by redstone or because TNT ignites other pieces of TNT so if you just like place a bunch of like pieces of TNT inside the walls um, then they'll, they'll keep on exploding and you also won't have to use too much TNT and most likely it's going to probably cause more damage so it's probably like the best way to do this but I like to using the, I like using the TNT in minecarts to me they're fun so that's it for this one Okay, so that's all for the traps. I hope I hope you liked this video, and I hope it helped you in any of these designs. And I'll see you next time. Bye.